A sale in the FCT as the Muslim community prepares for the upcoming Eid El Fitr celebrations, marking the conclusion of the holy month of Ramadan. There is a palpable sense of unease amongst the faithful due to the sharp rise in food prices. In a survey conducted by our correspondent Fumilola Adeyemi, a diverse group of residents in the Federal Capital Territory voiced their concerns over the soaring cost of food items. Here's the report. Food inflation, which constitutes a significant portion of Nigeria inflation basket, continued to climb. As at this time last year, food inflation in Nigeria reached 24.45% on a year-on-year -year basis. According to Nigerian Bureau of Statistics, the country recorded 37.9% in February 2024, the highest since August 2005. This sharp increase was primarily attributed to the effect of oil subsidy removal and the devaluation of Naira. Food vendors say, they have been witnessing low patronage due to the cost of food items. Nothing day. We don't see anything to buy and we don't see anything to sell. So the, the market, everything is very cost. Look at it yourself. See my unsold cartons of fish since morning. I've not been able to sell even up to 10,000 naira. In the market for now, everything is out. To be sincere, not even now. Before the Salah, before the Easter, market is too costly. Like pepper, we are not importing pepper, and they are saying dollar is rise. We understand that dollar is rise, but now dollar has reduced. But in pepper, pepper of basket now is four five. Are we importing pepper? The cow money is too high. The cow bought last two three months ago. Buy one million now it's 1.3, 1.5. The cow. Before I sell meat, 4,000. Now it's 4,005. The type of animal we trade in are expensive, but beef is more costly. The feed treatment for our cattle that used to cost 10,000 naira now cost over 50,000 naira. Even cows that were sold for months ago for less than 500k are now over. 1 million and 1.2 million naira plus. Now the butchers are indebted based on 7,000 naira per kilo price, which is unable to yield profit for them to repay their debts. We end up quarreling over debts because they usually buy cows on credit. Even customers are too lamenting that beef is now too expensive. One of the traders who spoke in Yoruba say they have never witnessed this level of low turnout of customers, especially during this period. Before Easter, Christmas and New Year festive season, there is no sales, we are praying. Until now there is no sales, we struggle to eat. When our customers come, they always complain. We sell almost everything, but have nothing to show for it. We pray God should help our government. Mr. Kechupo Peter, a shopper, seems not surprised as he revealed the hike in prices comes every festive season. In Nigeria, we are now. Everybody knows that everything is increasing every day. You know, the meat we are buying, kilo of meat we are buying, 3,000, it's now it's 5,000 naira. You know? That's what we are seeing in this country. So things are not going down. Things keep going up every day by day. Like this Salana, and it's always happening in the celebratory season. Everything keeps going high, high. You know, government needs to do something about this. This, our new, you know, government, they need to do something about this because this is our country. We don't have any other place to go. If things are going this way, I don't know what the promises will do in this country. So let them wake up and put this country in order, please. Vendors and consumers alike urge federal government to devise strategy to mitigate inflammatory pressures. From Lola Adeyemi, ADBN News.